Very simple. I'll go first. It's me, Free Beer. Hi. Mm-hmm. So I was very, very young, and we would go to my grandparents' house on Christmas Eve. I don't know, maybe five, maybe six, not much older than that. So we went to my grandparents' house on Christmas Eve, and then we were all going to bed. And then I had to get up to go to the bathroom. But my sister caught me in the hallway and said, you got to go back to bed. If Santa sees you're out of bed, he won't come tonight. And then you won't get any new toys. Well, being young and materialistic, I went back to bed and pissed the bed. And that became a tradition. (laughs) Because Santa came. (laughs) True story. That's too bad. P.S. For some reason, I was wearing corduroys. <laughs> oh, you soiled your cords. <laughs> Why was I sleeping in corduroys? Oh, what sort of poverty were we? <laughs> I really want to dress like Paddington Bear for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Sharing holiday stories, though. So, I must have been, I don't know, maybe like 11. And it's Christmas. So that's great. My dad, little backstory, my dad loves pop. Now, I call it soda, which might be weird to you, but that's just what I do, okay? It's soda to me. But my dad says pop, so for the sake of the story, we shall uh, refer to it as pop. So my dad loves him some pop, not just any pop. I mean, he'll drink some out of a two liter, but mostly fountain pop, that's his jam. He likes to go get it from the gas station, it's his thing. And he can't even be stopped on Christmas morning from doing such a thing. So we're opening gifts. We're like in the middle of everything, not even done. And dad's like, I gotta go get a pop. Really, dad? Like right now, you can't wait till we're done? Nope. Gotta go. And also, did I mention the weather was totally crappy? Yes. Snowing, icy, doesn't matter. My dad will go out in all of that to get his fountain pop. And he did. But he also ran into a stop sign and basically totaled the car. And that was Christmas that year because dad had to go to the gas station and get his pop. Did he stop? No, no, he still, he still loves fountain pop and he would still leave on Christmas morning to, to go up and get some. Yep. Hot wings. All right, my most memorable Christmas would be the Christmas of fifth grade. Two days before Christmas, uh, I had a sledding incident in which I fell off a sled and underneath the snow, unbeknownst to me, was a broken champagne bottle frozen to the ground, and I sliced the piss of my hand open. So I had to go to the hospital and get stitches, and I had stitches for Christmas. And then in between Christmas and New Year's, I got my stitches out. I made the mistake of eating about 12 Christmas cookies before I got my stitches out. Watching my stitches come out made me a little ill, and oh. I barfed up all the Christmas cookies. Oh, did you barf in your wound? <laughs> I did not barf in the wound, but I did barf at the clinic oh. on the floor. Um, oh, and also uh, there was the Christmas I got engaged. But other than that, uh, barfing, I remember that really well. Every single year, my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law, and my wife, we all head out to Hart's Tree Farm in Rockford, Michigan, and cut ourselves down a fresh-cut Christmas tree. My family, we celebrate Christmas, and we always cut down a fresh tree. It smells so good in the apartment for an entire month, and I love decorating it. It's always a good time. And I'll tell you, the majority of my uh, Christmas ornaments are kiss ornaments and movie ornaments. I have a DeLorean, I've got a Ghostbusters car, and I've got... I think about nine different versions of Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons from Kiss. Right after we cut down the tree, we actually go on over to uh, the corner bar in Rockford as well, too. Stuff our faces with delicious, greasy food and hot dogs. And that's our holiday tradition. Every single year, I always look forward to it. Merry Christmas! Well, Merry Christmas. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Happy Happy Holidays, holidays, everybody! Happy Kwanzaa! Happy yeah. New Year! Ramadan! <laughs> oh, and uh, Easter. Yeah.